Hello, it's Marion Stewart and welcome to my weekly wisdom. Today I'm focusing on beating the bloat at menopause because so many women seem to be plagued with bloating and they don't really understand what's going on. Apart from the fact that we make about 1.5 litres of gas a day, which is bad enough, we also gain weight around the middle and feel very bloated at menopause. And there are underlying reasons, so I wanted to share some of my secrets with you. Because when you can't do your clothes up and you're feeling really bloated, apart from feeling embarrassed, it's not very good for your self-esteem either. So first of all, you may have heard me talk before about nutritional deficiencies, but having low levels of important nutrients doesn't make it any easier because you need those nutrients in order for your brain chemistry and your hormones to function normally. But one of the most common deficiencies we found was magnesium. And magnesium is in short supply in between 50 to 80% of women of childbearing age, and that can get worse as you get older. And you don't store magnesium in your body. It actually goes in one end and out the other, and that's the whole point. So if you're short of magnesium, the muscles in your gut, which are meant to relax and contract rhythmically to propel the motions from one end of your gut to the other, they just go into spasm. So everything can become hard and compacted. And so that's why at least half of the women I see suffer with constipation. So if you're short of magnesium, you need to make sure you're consuming magnesium rich foods and perhaps also to take a supplement so that you can help the muscles in your gut to work normally again. And because otherwise you get trapped wind as well as the motions and the whole thing is very messy. Making sure that you do plenty of exercise as well is important because that also keeps your gut functioning. So that's another little tip. When you have low levels of nutrients and the brain isn't working normally, for some reason it perceives certain foods as a toxin. So for example, wheat and bran, you can get antibodies. So these are chemicals in your system to flush out the so-called toxin. And what happens is you can gain literally half a stone overnight because it's the fluid that's supposed to be flushing out the toxin. So if you come off wheat and bran just even for a couple of weeks, if you're suffering with this, you'll notice that you pee the fluid out and you won't be anywhere near so bloated. So lots of things that you can do to reduce your bloating at the time of perimenopause and menopause. And if you'd like to find out more tips and tricks about how to control your other symptoms, then please come to my free masterclass and find out what's going on in your body and how you can fix it so that you can reclaim your well-being and feel better than you can remember.